Hello and welcome to Reportage. This is Danish Bin Nabi. In today's segment of Reportage, I am joined by one of the veteran trekkers who have given up his life in Kashmir Valley while trekking in the mountains of the paradise. Titled Kashmir, the book is written by Ramesh Bhattacharya ji and is published by Harper and Collins Publication. Let's listen into Mr. Ramesh. Mr. Ramesh, before we get into the book, yeah. let's begin with your life. In the book, you have written that you are uh, journey, your relationship with Kashmir started in 1967, if I'm not wrong. So, no, no, 63. 63. So, talk about it, about this. Why Kashmir? How did this all started? Well, my first visit to Kashmir was in 62. Mm. That's when I, that's when I went on a road trip inside Kashmir, Kashmir that's the valley and the usual tourist places. Then to Sonamark, and then next year in 1963, we went for a, a trek to Lakhat Gali, uh, trying to get to Lidarwat. So that was my second visit. After that, uh, we, I mean, I was visiting Kashmir off and on for a long time, except during the 80s, and my tryst has continued till. Uh, well, till very recently. 2010, which you have written. 2012, I think. Well. That is my last trek. So, how was this trekking? What interested you in this trekking? And why did you choose Kashmir? Why did I choose Kashmir? No, firstly, what interested you in trekking? In trekking, it was a... Uh, the mountains that interested me, I've been uh, trekking in other parts uh, of the Himalaya, you know, in uh, uh, Uttarakhand and Himachal. So, <clears throat> Kashmir was a natural place to almost start my trekking career because I'd heard and read so much about it. So, who were your initial friends who introduced Kashmir to you? No, no, no one introduced Kashmir to me. You know, you see, in college we are part of a hiking club, hmm? where I think that's one of the oldest hiking clubs in India, where people used to, you know, just in an informal group, and they used to get together and talk about places, and the 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 place, the main place that they were ecstatic about was Kashmir. And that time was ages ago, so from 61, this is I started 1960s. thinking and reading about Kashmir. This was 1960s? Yeah, 1960, I joined the college and then 61, I joined hiking club and we used to meet. So my first trip was just a motor trip by bus and things to Kashmir Valley. Then in 63, we went for a uh, trek to Kashmir. So and almost... So, so almost for about 40 years, 40, 60 years. 40 years, 60. Huh? Yeah, I mean, 60 from now, but till 19, till 2012, it is almost 50 years. Almost 50 years. So you yeah. have been for almost 50 years trekking in Kashmir Valley of different uh, no, valleys, no, no. different. Yeah, yeah, different valley. Not, not, you know, you don't, uh, uh, not always. Sometimes I used to go by road. Hmm? And, and except for a brief period in the, the 80s, when I didn't go to Kashmir at all, hmm, I have been visiting it off and on for a long time. My uh, treks were just about, uh, I think, 13 in number. That is all. So only 13 treks? Oh, yeah, one, three. So what prompted you to write down this book? What was the this building point? And what is your <laughs> message is for the readers? There's no message. It is just an experience. It's a tribute by me to Kashmir because this has to be had to be done because it is such a beautiful land. I mean, for me, it is the most beautiful part of the whole world. And then I just after doing or you know going all with this, and when I had time after retirement, I thought of doing a book on Kashmir of my experiences, and then. Uh, of others who had been to other places which I had not been to. So I just got, got them together 
and wrote this. So, Mr. Mr. Ramesh, what are the problems that Kashmiri trekkers are facing? Because you have been thick and thin of all these things. So, what are the basic problems? What are the basic necessities that we lack? No, I, I think you don't lack any necessities at all. You see, I we used to trek in the 60s. Huh? At that time, there were very few uh, necessities. There, was hardly, there were no, hardly any roads. All the little equipment we had to get, there were not sure, no, not many shops where you could buy supplies from. So we used to go ourselves, and at, I, I liked that time. You know, it was a kind of a time where it was a primeval splendor was there. You know, uninhibited people, friendly people that you know you could enjoy the most. At the, at that time, you know, the, <clears throat> there was still a, a tradition of. Uh, hospitality, security, all that, uh, and the beauty around you. That was uh, that was the charm of Kashmir. So, M Mr. Ramesh, let's talk a bit about 90s. Were you coming uh, in 90s to Kashmir? Did you visit? Yeah, yeah. You visited huh? in 90s? Yes, yes. 90s I'm talking and... of the militancy era. When those, as you have also mentioned in the book about those kidnappings, in um, Pahalgam side, yeah, no, Pahalgam Valley. side, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you were coming in those days as well to Kashmir. No, no, in those days also I didn't. You know, eighties and early nineties, but no, not for trekking. Huh? By the way, I had come I used to go there for traveling for work also, hmm. and that was it. So how has how has basically things changed from sixties? Till now, you because you just said that people were more hospitable. See, I'll tell yeah. you what how things yeah. have changed. In the sixties, we would not meet anyone at all. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, hello? yes, sir. In the sixties, we would meet. We would not meet anyone uh, trekking. Hmm? But in the, since two thousand. Hmm? And at my during my last trip in 2012, you know, I was surprised to meet so many people, mostly uh, Kashmiri youth, hmm? who were uh, who were trekking. Also trekking. And, yes, for trekking, many Kashmiri youth. I mean, by many I mean men uh, must be uh, during our uh, one week trip to Gangbal. I must have met about five or six groups every day and there were a few foreigners so, so that is how things have changed and so the equipment how, has become better so how have how many places have you visited how many mountains have you tracked how many places have you gone for trekking well like i said 13 and now you want me to list them when they will uh, at that time you know, uh, Margan Pass was one. Hmm? Uh, Machil was another. Then, uh, uh, well, Tithwal was another. Uh, well, that uh, Nastachu and Pass. You, and, and you people had free access to all these places. Because now Walk. there are security concerns all. No, no, at that, that time, the that's the thing. You know, at that, that, that time, there was not much. Uh, interference by, by the government. You know, we we could go nearly almost uh, anywhere we pleased. Anywhere. Uh, but <clears throat> things became easier for me after I joined the service. Then I had a, an identity card, and you know there was actually no restriction at all. So was basically the nineties turning point for trekkers as well. Did nineties change it, or it after sixty five the war between India and Pakistan? No, after eighties, you know, during after the eighties, things during the eighties, the things started changing. So huh? this is you are talking of late eighties. Late eighties, that is when the things started changing, and in the nineties, it became a bit difficult to go. But I used to go, but not for treks. Most of the treks I had done was uh, till. The seventies. Then I used to go twice a year. 
So you have See, also mentioned few Kashmiris who have helped you in this uh, book. Can you kindly yeah. identify them? Who those people are? Who, I mentioned them. Like, they must be your friends. Yeah, like uh, Rishi is one, Mohammed, and then uh, Roshan Shahab. They uh, see Roshan Shahab and uh, that uh, Mahmud. They are not friends. We just met online, you know. Uh, but uh, Mr. Kureshi, yeah, I have known for years and years now. Must be about thirty years. So they, uh, you know, they, uh, he actually inspired me in finding out different areas to go to, and when I couldn't, he would go do that for me and report back. That is it. And you are still friends with them. Beg your pardon. Yes, naturally. <laughs> huh? That's so, it. <laughs> so. You have, you also said that people have changed. Do you really believe that people have changed? What you saw in sixties, seventies, and the difference now has the attitude of people changed. You see, uh, you know, attitude has people are still the same. Hmm? Now, uh, in some areas, hmm, they are bothered about. I think uh, what the security forces will think. So, like uh, in uh, in uh, Dawar and beyond, uh, Abdul Hum, you know these places. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, that is what I noticed. You know, they are not uh, as open as they were earlier. Obviously, because of the circumstances, the situations that are present yes, in correct, Kashmir correct. Time. That's understandable, and uh, we don't. And but you know now that you see the change that has happened now. Even in remote valleys like Keran or Machil, yeah, you know, uh, people have opened up uh, homestays. You see, the things have changed so much. It was uh, really unthinkable at that time. Mister, <coughs> Mister Romesh, I have heard that Gandhi family had yeah, a carry on. good loving relationship Hello? with Kashmir, and they used to come. To Kashmir Hello. Valley and trek there. Am I audible? Can you hear me, Mr. Ramesh? Mr. Ramesh, we have. I have often heard that Gandhi family had a quite fascination about Kashmir Valley. Was yeah. by any chance you met any Gandhi family member while you were trekking no. in Kashmir in sixties, seventies, or eighties? No, 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 no. So, what? What about the politicians? Politicians <laughs> from mainland India were they interested in trekking in Kashmir? In in Kashmir, politics, what? What about Hello? the politicians from mainland India? Were they interested uh -huh. in? Were they interested in trekking in Kashmir Valley? I don't know. I don't bother myself with politicians. So I can't tell anywhere, but I've never come across any politician trekking or in, indulging in such activities anywhere in the country. M Mr. Romesh, any fond memories of your trekking period which you would like to share with the audience? Uh, fond memories? I can't select any, huh? Because at for least me, you must have some quite good anecdotes to share with us. Lidarwat, Lidarwat, visit to Lidarwat from Aru. Hmm? That was a beautiful uh, experience. Uh, soft views in front and the rocks behind, you know, ever never ending uh, meadows. And, you know, I used to like going in the in autumn. And then the, cha the changing colors, birch trees are go golden. That's... Uh, a memorable experience I have. So I mean, but these kind of change, changing colors and beauties in in every part of Kashmir, no matter where you go, hmm? in Bangus, in uh, the lakes area, the Kishansar area, and when you go down to Kishan Ganga near Abdulun, there. So uh, that uh, you know, you can't compare.
and and now kashmir this landscape has like its people the landscape too has changed yeah jawaharlal nehru's description of seeing the kashmir valley from below banihal hmm, uh, and his uh, notes from sonamarg had in had first interested me in uh, about kashmir this was in 1960 and that is how you know first driving force it was so that's how you got interested in kashmir then, yeah and then i started reading me uh, young husband and others and do you miss kashmir now no oh, definitely certainly and, and are you planning to go back and visit the valley you know, i plan every day you know but you know i plan every year but there was uh, you know plans uh, you know they don't fructify some of the other so i when was the last time you visited kashmir valley uh, last time was in i think 2014 and you haven't visited valley after 2019 no no valley i said 2014 but trek 2012 and that is about all mr romesh maybe wrong about 2014 maybe 15 only huh? something like that huh? yeah mr romesh we do hope that you visit the kashmir valley soon and let I me hold so. your book once again up yeah. for the audience so that it reaches maximum people and maximum people buy and read your book pleasure Thank talking you. to me sir Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Please subscribe to our channel Reportage and press the bell icon to remain updated.